Sandy, I uh, learned how to play golf here, really. I grew up, I mean, Victoria, Royal Melbourne and Sandringham basically all touch each other, they're separated by roads, but they're all kind of one big place. And I grew up just on the other side of Royal Melbourne. And when you're a kid, you can't get onto the sand belts because of the restrictions. And I was playing golf pretty young. So I think dad was bringing me up most weekends. We'd play a lot of Sundays from like seven or eight onwards. So I, um, we always played 18 holes and we'd always walk. And um, it was just kind of my place. I'd come here after school sometimes and you could play nine holes for $2 when I was a kid. 95 of my first 100 games of golf were at this course. So it's, um, it's been part of my life for a long time. So this kind of full circle back to kind of help uh, elevate the course really and elevate the whole property. It's gonna be, be an amazing place. It's pretty cool to be uh, here at this time. sort of um, cherry picking the best bits of the sand belt really. So, I mean, the, the idea is that it's a sand belt experience for the public golfer. Whilst there's not any par fives, because it's, it's quite a small property, um, you know, one of the great things about the sand belt are the short par fours and the par threes. So, and there's a bunch of them here. Generally, city golf courses don't get the money spent on them. They get a lot of traffic, a lot of rounds get played. They don't have the money to kind of look after them, so they're usually a bit ratty. But this one's going to be maintained by the Royal Melbourne staff. It's going to like kind of have a real sand belt feel about it. So you're going to come down for a sensible kind of price and play kind of the social city golf in a sand belt setting and kind of get that experience you would have at one of the big sand belts. But like get it, um, everyone can have it. We don't have anything like this in Melbourne, not at this level, so it's going to be really good. 